Welcome to Adventures in Geocaching with your host, You Got a Friend in PA. Alright, welcome everyone to episode 88 Geocaching with You Got a Friend in PA. I'm at Blue Mountain Ski Resort. They also have snow tubing, mountain biking, and everything else. There's two geocaches here, and I'm going to try for them today. We're going up there. We're going to be climbing some in the mountain. Um, the first geocache we're going for is about halfway up. Off to the left side. So let's not waste any more time. I'm going to make the walk over to ground zero. And then bring you a GeoSense challenge. With a half mile walk, I made the find. I'm just into the woods off the um, disc golf trail. Got the container. It's a regular one and a half difficulty, two terrain. This geocache has not been found since the first to find in 2017. I believe it was 9 of 2017. And now I'm in 10 of 2019. Two years. Do I qualify for an abandoned cache? I don't know. Now let's show you ground zero. In the video frame that you are looking at, ground zero is here. Now for a GeoSense challenge. Location number one. Is this geocache by the rotten tree stump? Location number two is this geocache down in the hole by the tree stump. Location number three is this geocache under the down tree. Okay, I brought you three locations. Take the pole that just popped up in the corner. And now take a look one more time at the three locations as we bring them back across the bottom. Well, now that you got to take one last look, this container is definitely not hidden at location number one. And we can eliminate that one right now. So now you have location number two, and you have location number three. That's it. Two to choose from. Which one do you best think this geocache is hidden at? Remembering it's only a one and a half difficulty. Well, let's tell you which one it is. In three, two, one. This regular container is hitting by the tree stump in location number two. Let's show you how it is when we put it back. Here's the tree stump that's holding my pole. You come over here to this side. Slide this back down in there. There's a piece of wood here. Another slide over there. There's a piece of wood that covers there. That's how you're going to find it when you get here. All right. Cache number one at the base of Blue Mountain is done. Now, make my way back to parking, drive up to the top of the mountain to the Summit Lodge, and the same trail that I'm on down here, I'm going to take at the top. And then I'm going to walk out into the woods and get cache number two for today. Stick around, more to come.
Okay, everyone, cache number two. Finally made it to ground zero. I had a one mile hike in from the Summit Lodge. It wasn't bad. It was uphill, but it was on trails. So that's not terrible at all. Made the find. Got a Christmas cookie container here. Uh, it does need maintenance because the bottom is broke, but everything inside is dry. This is a regular one and a half difficulty two terrain. Now let's show you ground zero. In the video frame that you see, ground zero is here. Now for your Geosense challenge. Location number one is your geocache hiding in this pile of rocks. Location number two is a container hidden in these pile of rocks. Location number three is this container hidden behind this tree and the ferns. Okay, I showed you three locations on where this container could be hidden. It's going to be in one of them. Take the pole that just popped up in the corner to lock in your answer. Let's bring back all three locations across the bottom. Give you one more chance to look at all three of them side by side and pick your best one. Where do you think this one is hiding at? Well, if you pick number three, sorry to tell you you're wrong. That one's not it. So now you have two good locations. Location number one or location number two. One of these is obviously better than the other because it's where it's actually hidden. Can you guess the right location? Well, let me tell you. This container right here. Location number one. That's where you're going to find it. That is the correct location. Now, I'm going to show you exactly how it was when I walked up as I put it back. All right, you're going to come off the trail, do a little bushwhacking for about 80 feet. You're going to find this pile of rocks, and then you're going to find this pile of rocks. Well, with a little bit of searching, this container, it looks like, a, it almost looks like a chair. Put the container in here. You put the arm of the chair back over it. And that's how this geocache was when I found it. Really easy to find. So I guess it is a one and a half. All right, folks. Number two is done. I hope you did well. If you like the video and you like the videos that you have seen in the past, please subscribe to my channel. It really does help out a lot. Two. Hit that bell for notifications. And three, leave a comment and let me know how well you did. I like reading them. Well, I'm going to make the mile walk back to the car. And I'm going to see if I can find one more for this episode. I'm definitely not hiking anymore. I almost did about four miles already. Not including the mile back. So, uh, stick around. Okay, geocache number three. I'm in Lee Heighton. I found a micro three difficulty 
one and a half terrain. Let's show you ground zero. In the video frame that you see, ground zero is in it. Now for a GeoSense challenge. Location number one. Is this container inside a book in the library? Location number two. Is this container somewhere on the outside of the library? Location number three. Is this cache in the planter? Okay. I showed you three locations on where this micro could be hidden. Let's bring them back across the bottom for the last time so you can see them. Take the pole up in the corner. And now it's time to eliminate one of the locations. Let's eliminate location number three, the planner. It's not in a planner. It's definitely on the library. Now, is it location number one inside? Or is it location number two somewhere on the outside? You ready? It's location number two because it's not inside where the books are, but it is on the outside, but kind of technically on the inside. Remember, it's a three difficulty. You come up to the library here, and this top lifts up, and this container goes down inside. Just like that. And that's where this one's hidden. All right. Cache number three is done. Episode 88 is now finished. Thanks for watching. Hope you did good on the GeoSense challenges. And as always, folks, happy trails, happy caching, and go get yourself a smiley. All right, I showed you three locations on where this micro could be hidden.